The prison work came in very nicely in the sense that um, when I was doing my degree course, um, uh, Hindu Centre wanted help, you know, of, of uh, training, you know, uh, people to go to the prisons. So I said, uh, yeah, why not? It's a good, you know, let us give it back to society, go and serve these prisoners. So I went and joined them, and uh, they paved the way for me. And uh, I had, uh, I was a second batch actually. That was about ten years back, right? About eight years back. So I was trained by them, and that paved the way f for religion a lot, Hinduism. You know, I, because when we go down the prisons, you know, we got to make sure that we, we have some knowledge to share with them correctly. So all the more, you got to read up yourself. So instead of me helping the prisoners, you know, inmates, I think I, they helped me a lot. And they're very warm, you know. Uh, I, I, I can see that they, are, they sort of... Um, they glad to have met you, that, they have, that you have crossed their path, they have come into their life. They are very happy with that. Yeah. So, that's a, that's, it's very touching. It's very touching. They appreciate it, you know. Like, there's this mother, mentor family, when she, she sees me, she hugs me and she bursts into tears. You know, that, 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 that I was there for her. You know, yeah. So that is touching. You know I mean? Of course, those inmates there itself, you know, now they are serving Diwali cards and all that. Very touching, very touching. They send you cards, you know, how they, they, they express, they say, they, you know, that they feel comfortable. But then we always tell them, it's not what is, it is now, it's what we want to see what, when you come out, it's much more important. So one boy is getting a case because he was found in the company of another gangster. So uh, he's, then uh, I went to meet him. And, uh, and he was saying that, yeah, I made a mistake, but never mind, it will strengthen me much more. I'll go and serve and I'll make sure that I won't do it again. So we are trying to divert their you know, minds away from these type of activities and you know, like prayers and being in the company of going for you know, discourses and changing their lifestyle. Uh, you know. uh, and then uh, I even brought the, the, the prisoner who was, uh, was straight away from drugs for how many years, right? I even brought him to this person's house to speak to him. To encourage him, you know, what I mean, to change, you know, see, so he, how he he was able to avoid all this, so to you know, so all this, you know, help each other. Like. I've faced many of uh, 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 inmates who have come out. They want, to, you know, they say they have changed, you know, but then uh, within a couple of months, they go into a fight and they land up in jail, and um, they go back again. You know, it, it is really very painful, but I suppose. Um, it's there in their life. We can't do anything about it, you know. Uh, they've not, not been strong enough to hold back, you know. Like what this one, there was this guy who left um, in uh, the prisons, and uh, before he left, he was so grateful that you know that he has changed a lot, you know that he will definitely be good and all that. But within six months, I think he went into the wrong path again, and then uh, got into a fight, and now he's going to spend another six, seven years in jail again. So what I do is that I write, I correspond with him, you know. So we are allowed to do that. So to correspond with this and then uh, I keep going, you see. Give them some time, you know, to change. And you just got to keep your, you know, your judgment to yourself and keep, you know, keep away.